hi welcome back to this tutorial in the previous video we create our first react component for our app we created post and post box component and in this tutorial we will introduce you to redux where we will use redux to manage our application state so first of all what we need to do is we need to install the dependency for our redux okay so go to the terminal here we have this we want to create new terminal where we will install the dependency click on the plus that you see okay so we will use this terminal to go to the social app directory okay then npm install we will use this command to install the dependency so we need about four dependency first we need a redox then we need another dependency for configure store which is at redox js slash toolkit okay and we also need another dependency for the dev tool at redox dev tool we have hyphen here before dev tools then slash extension at redox dev tool extension and then we have three here the last thing we will need is the react redox dependency okay first we have npm installed redox at redox js toolkit separated by just a space and then at redox dev tool extension then react redox then click on enter it will start installing all this dependency it will take a time and once the dependency is, is, is installed we will see those dependency inside the package.json okay now here is our dependency all installed if you go to the package.json you will see we have all the dependency at redox dev tool extension at redox js toolkit redox uh, react redox okay now let's create a new folder where we will create file for our redox inside the source folder okay inside this folder we will create a new folder redox redox so inside the redox we will create new files okay let's start with the action type dot js okay we will now create a new file action types dot js inside this action types we will have a function which we will export and inside the function we will have a type and a type is what our reducer will use inside a switch statement to identify an action okay now let's have this function which will start with export because we will use this in another class post type we will name the function post type because it will consist our types inside first let's define the get okay we have this let's name the type as coding techniques slash post slash like a is look like a is look like a url it is just a type to identify this function the function that will use this which is the action inside our reducer okay now we have a get and we will use this get to add some posts that we fetch from database into our state okay now let's create a new file again for the action 
so we will name this file action .js. so inside this we will first import we will import the function that we just defined action types make sure you save the file import star as action types then from we call the directory so now we will define our face function which is export function and I will name this action get all available available pause okay so and it will return a type and a payload a payload is the pause that we will use to insert into our state after we fetch it from the database okay now let have a semicolon here and then first start with the type now we import a action types and inside these action types we will have access to the just get that we created okay now we need a payload payload is the post that we want to put inside our state okay so now let's have a post here and we will pass it as parameter so we'll have this okay so this is okay and we define our first function so, so the next thing we will do is we will have a reducer and the reducer will use this action let's create our reducer before creating reducer we know that the reducer use state we need state in a different file which is initial state new file initial state the js inside this initial state we will have cost we will define our initial step which is the array of post object initial step equal to so we will have array like this empty array this is the initial set okay and we will use this inside the reducer we are going to export this export default for default initial state okay then save it so now let's create a reducer file new file reducer the js so reducer is a function that will use the state and action okay now let's define a function of a reducer export default function let name it post reducer okay and here we will pass the state we already have the state state equal to our initial state that we just defined let import it initial state okay equal to initial state and then we need action using the action we will access type we already define a type and connect it to the action that we define here so let's go back to the reducer we will have a switch statement we will switch the action dot type so it check the action based on a type so we need to define what happened here before it passes to our store okay so we already define a type and let import the post type here because we will use it we have the post type inside this we don't need to 
write this again we just use it inside the reducer let's have this okay so for the case that this action is called the action with this type let define action types dot post type dot get when we have this case then what we will do is we will add the payload to our state okay so we will return we will return face we need a spread operator which is a copy of our array of object then we add a new object which is action dot payload so this is what we have here and the last thing we will do if nothing happens we will just return the state and we need to set the default here default return we will just return a state without manipulating it okay so this is what we have defined so far okay now we need to import combine reducers we will add our reducer inside the combine reducer combine reducer is a function provided by the redux to combine our reducers we may have a multiple reducers and we will add them inside the combine reducer but in this case we have only one reducer so let import a combine reducer and add our post reducer import combine reducers okay from redox okay so now we will add the post reducer inside the combine reducer let define a function export and name it a root reducer we will add this inside our store store is where the state of our application life we send new state and we also get the state so this will be equal to combine reducers and inside this we will have a post and set it to post reducer so this is all for our combine reducer and the next thing we will have our store for this state because the store is where the application set lives and we will set all necessary things that we need for the store so let's create a new file store and we will set our store inside this store.js so first we need to import configure store is a function provided by atredox.js toolkit configure store from atredox.js toolkit okay so we will use this function to set our store let have this our store equal to uh, the just configure store that we import so inside this we will define all the necessary thing that we need and let export this export default store so this is what we have so far the first thing we need to add our reducer that we define reducer 
and set it to root reducer import root reducer here it is root reducer and we also need our initial state we have previously defined initial state and this will set to the preloaded state equal to initial state so we need to import our initial state import initial state so and we add it here okay and we also need dev tool the dev tool we need to add compose with dev tool the compose with dev tool allow us to see how our action is dispatched so let import compose with dev tool compose with dev tool okay so we have it from the let add it from add redux dev tool extension okay this is the right the finishing okay so we set dev tool to the compose with dev tool function okay so the last thing we need to add is the middleware okay the middleware allow us to do some asynchronous work we will do some rest api call with by having the middleware and the default middleware is the redox tongue and by calling the get middleware we will have this we supposed to add the get middleware add comma and call the get middleware but even without this it automatically knows that the middleware that we are calling here is part of the redox js toolkit so call get default middle where so we have this get default middle where so and then set this to get default middle where that is all so if you need additional middleware that you which are custom you need to add it you just add concat and then place the middleware that you have inside the concat for now we only need the redox tongue middleware so this is all we need here and we need to go to the index.js to make sure that the state is provided across all the component so we need to have import the provider okay so provider is part of the react redux so let import it here import provider provider from react redux okay so we will wrap the app inside the provider element so let's have the provider so inside this let's copy the app inside and we will provide the store store so we need to import store inside this index.js import store okay from the redox store okay this is all for this the next thing we will do let check if we if we have an error face go back to this it is compiling as you see so when we have any error 
call in this library it will show so we have this arrow let's check it here import read reducer was not found so let's go back and check this inside this store we have this problem inside this store to change so we have root reducer from this so we need to go back and save this root reducer that is why we are having this problem because they previously that we add the root reducer and we did not save it that is all and let's go back and check so now we doesn't have any error so the last thing we will do is to check if it works by dispatching something else or by dispatching some information into the store so now to dispatch an action into the store to test if our redox works let's go to the store inside the store you can see we have compost with dev tool dev tools allow us to see how our redox application is working we can see if we dispatch some action but before then go to the chrome so we need to add chrome redox dev tool you see click on search redox dev tools click on the redox dev tool at the top you can see add to chrome that is because I already added you can see we have removed from Chrome so in your case you will see add to Chrome so click on add to Chrome you will have your redox dev tool for Chrome then right click inside the Chrome you will see you have redox dev tool so you can decide to open it to left right or bottom now I open this redox so you see once we dispatch some action you will see it here so let's go back to the code now we need to go back to the index.js from here we want to dispatch an action okay so we use store it has a function called dispatch okay so inside the dispatch we will pass the action so let's import our action that we just defined import we have get available post here it is okay so we pass get available post and you can remember we will pass a post to this get available post so let's go to the we previously in the database added a post and when you look at it in the social api post you click this url you will have the post here so i need the raw data so let me copy paste and pass it as a parameter so because this is a post and this get available post expect a post like this okay so now when we save it then let me try okay go to the redox dev tool you can see we have get it dispatch action and here it what we have we have id1 you see that exactly what we have dispatch and you see here it is we dispatch the action get available post so in the next video we will use axios to fetch data from our database and then dispatch it like how we did this to our state so let's see you in the next video